I'd now like to talk a little bit about the different types of Azure Active Directory licenses that, uh, that we have available to us. So again, Azure is uh, utilizing Azure AD for its directory services. And uh, when you first create an Azure AD account, you have a free license. Of course, that free license does have some limitations on it, so uh, you might consider uh, upgrading to uh, a better license, such as an Azure AD Premium license. Uh, now, how do we know what license we have? Well, one way we can do that is to simply go to portal.azure.com, click the menu button, go to Azure Active Directory, and uh, right here, it'll say License Azure AD Premium 2. In my case, I've activated the Premium 2 license you might have already as well. Uh, you can go to the Licenses blade here, um, and you can also uh, enable the free trial, which you may have already done that, right? Um, 80 premium 2 licenses there. You can also click over here on uh, all products and you can see what licenses you have. You guys may notice that I've got some other licenses. Don't worry. You don't have to have all those licenses. Don't worry about all that. Um, but this is kind of where you can see the different licenses and stuff that are available uh, in, your, in your subscription. You've got try and buy, which I'm not getting into right now. But ultimately, what is important for us to understand here is that there are different Azure AD licenses. And so we want to take a look at, at what those licenses are. And Microsoft has a great document we can pull up on that real quick. So if we go to Google and we just put Azure AD uh, Premium um, and just put that in and just scroll past the, the, uh, the ads there, we can click on Pricing for Azure Active Directory. If we do that, uh, it's going to pull this document up here and it's going to tell us the different versions of Azure 8. First, they're just mainly trying to advertise the Premium 1 and Premium 2 license, and uh, currently, at the making of this video, they are charging $6 a month per user for Premium 1 and $9 a month per user for Premium 2. Okay, so that's one thing of note when it comes to the licensing for uh, Azure services. Um, they uh, they charge a monthly fee per user that will utilize the features of that. So there will be certain features that will be available in Azure AD, and uh, if you wanted those features to be available for these users, they have to have a license for in order for that to be available. Okay. Now, what I really want to do though is click on this document right here. It says Azure. Uh, it says Active Directory documentation. We're going to click on that. And there's a nice little table that sort of breaks everything down. It, it, so ultimately, there are four versions of Azure AD. Okay, the free versions. That's this and this. These two are together. Okay, so the free versions of Azure AD. Okay, there is the Office 365 version, and then there's Premium One and Premium Two. Okay, so the free versions. Obviously, you get free. You set up an, a a, um, a free subscription. Um, you get these free regular users get these features right here. If you are what we call a global administrator, which is the uh, the most powerful uh, administrator account that Azure AD has, which is what you kind of start out as, you get a couple extra features uh, along with that. So, but ultimately, both of these are the free version of uh, Azure AD. Okay. Now, if you have an Office 365 license of any kind, then you get this version here. And essentially, the, the big difference is is that uh, regular users get to take advantage of these other features right here, not just admins. Okay, uh, and then finally, when you get into the premium versions, you can see you get a bunch of extra features, all right? Um, fraud alert, MFA, multi-factor authentication reports, uh, custom greetings for phone calls. It gets into, you know, if you start utilizing Microsoft Teams and all that stuff with this, um, you get utilize their, their phone system, um, conditional access capabilities. A lot of this I'm not, I'm not explaining what all these features are right now. Okay, I just wanted to point out that with Premium 1, you get all these features you see here. With Premium 2, you get all these features you see here. These uh, Premium 2 features are actually very, very powerful. They add artificial intelligence capabilities and things like that to Azure that you don't get with Premium 1 and the others. So Premium 2, they definitely are trying to make it the, the more lucrative one for, for people to want to go after. Okay, 
Um, but anyway, those are your four versions of uh, Azure AD. Ultimately, Premium 2 is going to be the one that's got the most capabilities in it. And, and currently, that's the one that, uh, that I have activated in my environment. And you can, too, by doing the free trial if you haven't already done that. Um, and you can see that it's activated right here. Now, from there, you also have to make sure your users have been given a license to it. So I can go here to Licenses, right? I can go to All Products, and I can assign a license to it, all right? Uh, so if I actually go here to Users, also um, I can click on an individual user like uh, Larry, uh, Larry Thomas here, and I can go to Licenses. I can see that he has not been given any licenses. So I can click Assignment and then I can give him a license. Now, you guys may notice, doesn't say Azure AD Premium 2 here. That's because I actually have this uh, this different license here called the EMS uh, E5 license, Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. That actually gives me um, the, pr the Premium 2 capability. So yours may look a little different than mine depending upon the way you set your, your subscription up. But either way, that's how you're going to assign license. You can either do it directly on the user like I just showed you, or you can go down here to uh, the menu button, go to Azure Active Directory, click on uh, Licenses, click the All Products. Um, from there, click the individual license you want to give, click Assign, and then you can assign that license. Okay, And that's how you're going to do that. But remember that a user must have a usage location. If a user does not have a usage location, you will get an error when you try to assign a, a license to that user. So if you click on a user, you need to make sure that um, you've given them a usage location, all right, in order for them to be given a license. And there's how you would do that right there. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again. <laughs>